No, this video is not sponsored by Walmart, but it should be. Hey y'all, and welcome to another Booty Guru video. So today I wanted to do a drugstore beauty video for all of my broke folk out there, for all my penny pinchers, for all of my peeps out there who are broker than a mother freaking joker. This is for you. I basically want to go to my local Walmart and look at the selection that they have for beauty products and then choose my personal favorites from their selection. So hair, face, and body. Touch my body. All of the products that I recommend in this video will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience. So let's get started. Ah, Walmart, providing you with the lowest prices, the highest quality products, and a calm shopping environment. Alrighty, so first hair products. Going down the aisle, looking at the brands, I broke out in freaking hives just looking at the ingredients, y'all, because, well, most of these shampoos rely on sodium lord sulfate, which is a harsh detergent that is found in dish and laundry soap, and most of the conditioners rely on silicone, which causes buildup that is not water soluble. For these reasons, the best available option at Walmart is Maui Moisture. It's only $7 a bottle and it has amazing ingredients. Sulfate free, silicone free, vegan, and cruelty free. And the very first ingredient is aloe vera juice, so I would argue this is the best available option at Walmart. And I was actually a little shocked at the very little selection they had for curly hair stylers, but there are a few good ones. So for shampoo and conditioner, I ended up getting the Maui Moisture Shea Butter line. I chose these because I felt they were the best option there because of the price. Each bottle is $7. And I actually have tried this exact line before. I actually used it to prep my hair for a Maui Moisture photo shoot that I did. And I loved the results. It delivers moisture without drying out your hair. And also the conditioner has crazy good slip. There was also another hair brand that I saw there called Love Beauty and Planet, or as I like to say, Love Beauty and Planet, just to add a little spice. And I definitely think that they deserve an honorary mention because those products were very affordable. They were vegan, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, and silicone-free. I haven't tried them, so I don't know how they perform, but based on the ingredients and the values and the price, I definitely think it deserves a spot on this list. So for stylers, I ended up getting the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair coconut curling cream they're six dollars each and they are sulfur free silicone free paraben free and mineral oil free pretty damn good and another styler that i freaking love is the not your mother's curl talk gel y'all already know i've talked about this a lot because it is genuinely my favorite drugstore gel it's just so freaking good it's silicone free alcohol free paraben free cruelty free it pairs really well with any leave-in conditioner and it gives you soft touchable hold so next is skincare and the selection is so huge that it's actually really overwhelming but do not fear grasshopper always remember that less is more don't actually feel like you need all of this the best thing you can do is just check the ingredients of the products that you're interested in and something interesting that i found among very very popular facial cleansers was the use of sodium lord sulfate now sulfates deplete the skin of sebum which can lead to oil overcompensation which then leads to acne production yes very ironic and personally, in my own opinion, expensive face creams are super excessive and unnecessary. There are better, affordable, natural options out there. For the facial cleanser, I ended up getting the Equate Beauty Detoxifying Charcoal Facial Cleanser. Equate Beauty is actually a brand created by Walmart. When I saw the ingredients on this bottle and compared it to the other ones, like... My ankles were broke. This product has a lot of gentle cleansers. And the first ingredient is also aloe vera juice, which I thought was really cool. So much better by a mile than the other cleansers that I saw available. Which I think is really interesting because I feel like there's a lot of stigma when it comes to these kinds of brands. It's considered a bootleg brand. Like when you see something that's clearly trying to copy the original. And usually it's like way crappier. But when you look at the ingredients, it's just so much better than the other cleansers. So I really like that because it really helps to defeat that stigma. So you go, Wellsmart. So 
for a facial moisturizer, I ended up getting the Alafia Shea Butter Unscented. I have been using Shea Butter for about nine years now. In my opinion, Shea Butter will always be the superior moisturizer just because it is a raw saturated fat, which means it does not oxidize on the skin, which can cause premature aging. And a lot of the times moisturizers do contain polyunsaturated fats that can oxidize on the skin, thus increasing premature aging. And I also wanna give a quick shout out to freaking Alafia, y'all. Hands down one of my favorite brands because they work so hard to be a fair trade company, which means that they pay their workers fair living wages so they can actually improve their life. The profits are directed to programs that will donate school supplies, that will actually build schools. So 10 out of 10. That's the kid that gets like 50 million views just for playing with toys. What the frick? That kid is dripping so much harder than all of us, more than all the rappers and the gangsters out there, bro. He got his own toothbrush and everything. <laughs> Last is a body care, and I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. Body wash, it's just wasteful, excessive, and unnecessary. Not to mention expensive. Y'all already know that I'm gonna complain about the sulfates. And apart from that, it contains a very high amount of fragrance, which can cause skin irritation and sensitivities. So I don't recommend body wash at all. And I feel the same way about body lotion. A lot of silicone, chemical fillers, and the packaging is unnecessary. So instead, I'm gonna show y'all some better, more affordable, natural alternatives. So for the body cleanser, I ended up getting the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Daily Bar Soap. It's good for everything, you know? You can use it on your armpits, in your nalgas. Well, not in on please don't put it in your nalgas or do whatever i can't tell you how to live your life with good old-fashioned soap you have no bottle that you need to discard of and also you can just recycle the paper so it is a great sustainable switch that you can make however please make sure that when you buy soap that it is either palm oil free and if it does contain palm oil please make sure that it is rainforest alliance certified palm oil harvesting causes rainforest deforestation and kills over 100 000 orangutans a year so in my opinion this is the best available option at walmart it's cheap it's vegan it's cruelty free and it's sustainable palm oil certified and last but not least for the body moisturizer honestly you can just use the shea butter that i mentioned before however shea butter is a little hard to spread all over the body so if you want something that's easier to spread i highly highly recommend coconut oil in my opinion i think coconut oil is superior to any body lotion out there one because it comes in a glass jar and you can recycle the glass jar it is extremely nourishing it is antifungal antibacterial the only complaint that i have is that none of the coconut oil that was available was fair trade certified walmart does offer other coconut oil brands that are fair trade but online so then you could order it online and then go pick it up at your local walmart Alrighty, y'all so that is me sharing with you my favorite beauty products available at my local Walmart and let me know if you would like me to do this for other stores like Target or Walgreens or whatever. Comment like and subscribe and comment down below what are your favorite products at Walmart. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!